What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Sorry, I couldn't resist the Jeffree Star intro. Since we are talking about his product today, I just finished this tutorial on this eye look. Obviously, naturally, since that's what you guys are here for. Also, can we just say RIP to my nail? I was lifting up my stool, like what I sit on, and snapped my nail off. Probably the most painful thing that's happened to me in a while. Ugh, I hate when that happens, because I'm like, now you're just like, this like fugly little finger. Anyway, let's just get over that. So today's video, you guys have been waiting for it. I have been ill, <laughs> so sick. I was sick all over the weekend and it was just not, not cute, like not fun at all. So I intended on actually filming and uploading this video on Friday. It's now Tuesday. So today's video is on the Blue Blood Palette from Jeffree Star. This is his latest release. It looks like this on the inside. Ta -da! I will go through everything in a mere moment as well as doing a tutorial. I'll swatch all the shades, give my mini review, etc, etc. But let's get into like these small deets. I picked this up off Beauty Bay. I went onto the website the day it was released. Hadn't really any issues getting through the checkout, nothing like that. I got my palette pretty quickly. It arrived in about four working days, I reckon. And it came packaged in this and then also in an outer box. However, when this palette arrived to me, the shade cremated was smashed, which is very unfortunate. So you can probably see that there. It did smash and the shadow was all over all over the palette. It had transferred into every shade in the palette and I was devo.com. However, I did reach out to Beauty Bay and they were just unbelievable, guys. They were so, so good. What they did was they ended up refunding me 30% of the palette. So I am extremely, extremely happy. Generally, I don't reach out, but I just stuck a picture up of it on Twitter. Mm, I know, yeah, I know Twitter. That's where we all go to rant. But anyway, I went to kind of be like, damn, I'm so upset. Anyway, Beauty Bay reached out to me. They don't know who I am. I'm just average Joe to them. And they apologized and refunded me 30%. So thank you so much, Beauty Bay, because that was really, really, really nice. The palette is 53 euro. Pretty decent for a palette like of this stature. It comes in this amazing box. Like it looks, I guess, kind of like a coffin. <laughs> Gorgeous packaging. It has like this fastener at the front and then you open it and it's not that it's stuck it just sits very comfy on top of the base which means that you're not going to have any issue with the palette like opening up or anything while you're traveling the inside has this absolutely mahous of mirror and then it also has like a fabric effect around the well it's kind of like it's cardboard but it looks like it's fabric around each shadow. There's 18 shades in the palette. There's a mix of blues, then we've got a couple of neutrals, and there's also like teals and, you know, there's a glitter shade as well. There are 12 matte shades. There are like five shimmer shades and then one glitter, which is this one here called Ocean Ice, which is absolutely gorgeous. So this is kind of like the glittery shade. It looks like that. Oh my God, so pigmented. It is kind of like a shimmery shade and then it has a glitter going through it. It's just unbelievably pigmented. That's what I found in this entire palette is the pigmentation. So obviously looking from my eyeballs, I have played around with the shadows and I have a good few thoughts on this palette that I kind of want to touch upon and I want to just give you a little bit more information on it and then I want to swatch all of the shadows. So I haven't obviously used every single shadow on my eyes so I We'll talk to you a little bit more when I am swatching them about the quality of them. But there are just a few things that I want to mention that I have noticed from using the shadows. So the Blue Blood palette is my very first Jeffree Star eyeshadow palette. It's my very first experience trying any of his eyeshadows. And I must say that I was really pleasantly impressed. Why I haven't picked up his eyeshadows before, I don't really know. I guess there's just so many releases, so many palettes coming out there for a while. And I was just kind of like, I don't know what to do. There's just too much coming out at the moment. But there was nothing in the last while that captured my attention as much as this palette. And I just feel like it is incredibly different to anything I have in my collection. I don't have any blue eyeshadow palettes like this and it has everything in it you would ever need from a blue eyeshadow. Like it has shimmery blues, matte blues, purpley blues, blue blues, it has minty blues, teal blues. It kind of has everything you would need and I don't feel like you need to do what I did today and put all the blue eyeshadows all over your eye. I feel like how this palette is going to be for me would possibly be me dipping in and out of some of the shadows and popping them on my lower lash line or if I just want to add a bit of blue to any eyeshadow look. So my first impressions of this palette were naturally that it is just a very superior palette. You're really getting your 
money's worth. I just feel like everything in here is quite uniform. The palette is kind of higgledy-piggledy, which, you know, if looking at it, <laughs> sometimes like it could upset those of you who just like to see a little bit of cohesion within the palette. I know it kind of looks a little bit like there's shadows all over the place. Jeffrey did say in his video that he wanted to plan it out like that, that he just wanted to lay out the palette a little bit different than any other palette that he has before. I feel like the pops of neutral in there are great for like blending out the crease, but if you are looking for a neutral palette, guys, look elsewhere. This is not your baby. This is step out of your comfort zone, have a little play with color and enjoy the color selection that life has to offer. That's what this palette is. I remember the first time I ever experimented with blue eyeshadows, it was Electric Eel from MAC. And I remember I was just obsessed with that eyeshadow. I used to use it all under my lower lash line. I'd wear it constantly. I actually hit pan on Electric Eel. I loved it that much. And I just feel like this palette is bringing me right back to my Electric Eel days, just because it has so many blue shades. And Electric Eel actually looked very similar to Blue Blood, which looks like that. And it's just crazy pigmented, crazy. I'll give you a swatch of Blue Monday as well. So you can just see the quality that you're dealing with. Like I said, I'd never tried any of Jeffree Star's eyeshadows before. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know exactly what I was gonna be getting from the palette. I didn't know if I was gonna even like the quality of the shadows. So that is a swatch of a few of them. Like they are crazy pigmented, especially considering blue is a very tricky shadow to get correct. And Jeffrey even did, did mention that in his video, just how difficult and how tricky blue shadows are to get pigmentation from. They're tricky to develop, they're tricky to manufacture, they're tricky to formulate. So he did mention that in his video. If you wanna see his video, obviously I will link that down below. I'm sure everybody has seen it. Like, why would you be here first? I am never gonna have to pick up a blue eyeshadow as long as I have this palette. Like, I'll never need to purchase another blue eyeshadow ever again. So when working with the eyeshadows, I feel like they blended really, really well together. I feel like they meshed together and they didn't leave any separation. They weren't tricky to blend into one another. Also, if I didn't mention already, this is a vegan palette. The shade that I did have a little bit of issue with was the shade Blue Monday. It is a beautiful blue shade, absolutely gorgeous. It's like a purpley blue. However, it just seems to blend away into nothing sometimes when you are working with it and it can tend to go a bit patchy. That was the only shade that I used today that I found just a little bit kind of tricky to use. Other than that, all the other eyeshadows blended well together. They were really easy to work with. I would like to sit down and actually like structure another eyeshadow look using this palette. If you want to see another one, let me know. I just feel like I didn't know what I was at today because I was just reviewing it and just attaching eyeshadows onto my eye. I have no idea what other people are saying about this palette. I haven't watched one single review. Like I said, it's like a falling off the face of the earth because I was sick for the last while. So I haven't watched any reviews on this. I have to sit down and see what other people's thoughts are on it. However, I am really, really loving it. Like I really like it. I really, really, really do like it. If you're not into blue eyeshadows, this is obviously gonna be like a no bueno for you. So guys, if you are interested in seeing how I got this eye look, then it will be coming up next. If you wanna see swatches of the eyeshadows, they'll be at the end, and then you can just wait for my final kind of review and final thoughts on the palette. But I think I kind of covered everything in it. And yeah, I don't really have anything else that I wanna say, so let's skip on into the tutorial. Okay, excuse my brows of clothes, they look horrific. Yeah, I have an appointment at my brow bar next week, so they'll be getting sorted. Anyway, we're gonna start this look by taking I'm Cold, which is this one here, this really icy blue. I'm just gonna pop that straight through my crease. Honestly, I wasn't expecting the shadow to be very pigmented because it's just, you know, like a really icy blue shade. I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing, so we'll just start with a transition. Right, so I'm gonna go in with Blue Blood. I mean, how could I not? <laughs> the palette's named Blue Blood and it's just necessary. So I'm gonna pop that on the outer corner of my eye, just with a flat brush. Again, I've no idea what I'm doing. We're just kind of going with the flow here. Wow. That shade is extremely blue, very pigmented. So I'm just packing that on the outer corner of my eye. 
I'm just gonna bring it a little bit through my crease as well. Gonna go back in that with that brush with nothing on it, the one I used ice cold on. I'm just going to kind of diffuse the edges. Okay, so we're gonna take the shade Blue Monday. Every time I even say the name Blue Monday, I just think of New Order straight away in that song. Anyway, we're gonna take Blue Monday on a small little brush and I'm just gonna pop that kind of on the outermost corner of my eye. I'm just gonna like wing it in a bit. I feel like I'm gonna have to kind of build up that Blue Monday song I was gonna say that blue Monday shade because it's just kind of it kind of blends away so I'm just gonna keep building it up and packing it on thank god I have shadow shields on there's a little bit of fallout from that shade okay so far this is kind of like the most trickiest shadow maybe I'll just pick it up with the fluffy brush I just feel like this one is it's playing some games with me it's not as easy to blend as the other two shades. It's kind of like blending away a little bit. Okay, so next up I'm gonna take, I think the shade Undertaker, which is this really dark like navy blue. I'm just gonna take it on a fluffy brush and just like fluff it into the extreme outer corner and just kind of like blend it into Blue Monday. I'm just gonna take that original brush with I'm cold on it. There's nothing on it right now and I'm just gonna kind of blend the crease out. And then I'm just gonna go back in with all the shades. So like Blue Monday, just kind of top it back off. Shade Blue Blood. Again, just top that back up. Okay, so I wanna do like a little bit of a cut crease here. I'm going to apply the Conceal and Define Concealer from Revolution. I'm just gonna Pop that into the center and just kind of like look around. Okay, so I'm gonna take the shade Cullinan, which is this white here, and I'm gonna pop that on my inner corner of my eye. And I kind of want to put another blue just in the center here, so I'm not sure whether I should do Ice Tray or Deceased. I think I like ice tray. It's kind of like a shimmery, shimmerier. I don't even know if I'm gonna like this, but you will see. Okay, so finally I'm just gonna add, I think, Priceless, which is this shade up here underneath my brow bone, because I think that's like the best highlighting shade. I just need to highlight underneath my brow bone or just kind of bring it out a bit. And it's more of like a flesh tone. I'm gonna apply some eyeliner now and mascara and stuff and then we will do the lower lashes. So next I'm gonna pop a uh, Cullinan, that white shade, just underneath my lower lashes. Just in the inner corner like that. I'm gonna go in with this brush and I'm gonna take again I'm Cold, the shade that I used to blend out my crease. I'm just gonna rub that from outer to inner. Taking Blue Monday and just pop that on my lower lashes from the outer corner. And then I'm just going in with Undertaker and I'm just going to pop that on the extreme outer corner of my lower lashes. I'm taking this shade Blue Moon from Tarte, it's just this light blue and I'm going to pop that in my waterline. And then I'm just gonna add my mascara to my lower lashes. So these are what the shadows look like up close, as you can see. I'm gonna be swatching from obviously this way across so you can get a look at all the shadows and you can see the one that cracked, but it still has a ton of product in it and I won't have any major issues. So I'm gonna start with Cullinan, which is like an ice frosty white shadow. Next up we have Mint Tea, minty shade. There is an awful lot of white base in this shadow. Next up we have Crystal Flesh which is this gorgeous beautiful shimmery kind of like rosy gold shade. Absolutely 
stunning. Got I'm Cold next, which is the shadow that I used in the tutorial. So this is a little bit trickier to kind of like apply on the eye. I felt like I needed to build this up a lot. And even in the swatch here, I definitely need to build it up a lot more. There is a lot of white in this also. Next up, we've Untouchable, which is like a pinky shade. Again, this is quite a pale shade. Still a bit of building up to do. And then we've got Priceless. And we've got Priceless, which is just a cream shade. So that's the top row, which I feel they're quite pastel. I'm gonna keep going with the next row. So I have Power first, which is, this is a gray toned blue. Blue Blood, which is personally my favorite shadow in the entire palette. I just think it is absolutely stunning. We have Deceased, which is like a chrome blue absolutely gorgeous or cobalt blue either and then we've got ice tray which is another shadow that i use on the eye so that is where we're at now absolutely gorgeous so this one and this one are both shimmery they're not matte next i've got blue monday which again i feel like needs a little bit of building up that's the only shadow i found in the whole palette that went a little bit patchy on me and even the swatch is slightly patchy patchy flourishing which is a teal blue absolutely gorgeous the pigmentation that is insane and we've got wealthy which is just a cream color celebrity skin which is a light matte brown shade it's almost identical to my skin tone i don't even know if you guys can see that there we've got entitled which is again another shimmery shade ocean ice which is the glitter blue look at that oh cremated this is the shade that broke on me it's like a peacocky kind of blue and then we have undertaker which is a true navy blue you can build it up really easily so there we go that is the last sh few shades for me guys this was a million percent money well spent it is going to be a palette that i will dip into quite a lot i am so happy with this i just feel like it's different to anything i own in my collection i'm delighted to see something different something unusual and different come out for makeup i know it's very difficult to be innovative and kind of come out with something unusual and something that not everybody has done before but i definitely think jeffrey nailed it with this palette and he hit the ball out of the park in my opinion this palette is just exceptional it's beautiful the colors everything i'm just deceased over how beautiful it is i also think the amount of shadow that you get in this per shadow is also amazing compared to the overall price because you do get 1.50 grams or 0 0.05 ounces per eyeshadow that's unbelievable i think mac eyeshadows hang on i might have a mac eyeshadow here mac eyeshadow also has 1.5 grams or 0 0.05 ounces per eyeshadow and they're 15 euro <laughs> so for the price of four mac eyeshadows you can have this entire palette that is really money well spent for me and worth every cent i just think it's phenomenal for what you actually are getting the quality the price the texture the difference, the diversity, the uniqueness of some of these shadows and how, like like I said, versatile this palette is. Because you don't have to dip into the blue shades. You can use some of the neutral shades and then like pop maybe a little bit of blue on the lower lash line. I do recommend this to somebody who wants to try out something different, something new, doesn't have any blue eyeshadows in their, pa in their palette, in their collection, and they want to add to it. I definitely recommend the quality of these over trying something that might be a little bit lackluster in comparison to this. This has the pop, the shebang, it has everything. The only kind of like neg comment I have to make is just about some of the pastel shades in it. They just take a little bit of building up, nothing kind of crazy. They're not powdery or anything like that. They just take a little bit of building up. So just be aware of that before you do start playing around with them. I know with this one here, what was it called? I'm cold. I put that in my crease. It just took a little bit of effort to kind of, it, it does show up, but just to get it really, 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 that blue it just takes a little bit of building but just if you just be aware of that before you do like dip into those kind of more pastel shades I call them they just have like a white base I have nothing else to say about the palette guys it gets like two thumbs up for me I really recommend it I highly rate it I think it's amazing it's a palette I'm going to be using when I want to be a bit more creative with my eye, eye looks and step out of my neutral comfort zone from time to time I do really really enjoy like color eyeshadows I just feel like the look that I got with this. I'm just really loving it. So I will definitely be trying this again in a tutorial. If you want to see that on my channel, let me know. So that's all I have to say to you guys today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, 
give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and let me know what other videos you want to see coming up on my channel, and I'll talk to all of you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.